There's a lot of reasons not to take A-level physics, but thinking it won't help you in your future is not one of them. So what does A-level physics offer then? It is particularly challenging. That doesn't mean it's impossible, just means don't take it if you're not prepared to work hard. It is incredibly interesting. There are parts of A-level physics that are way, way, way more interesting at GCSE and make you realize how much of a simplification GCSE is about certain things. Um, and it also leads to future top universities and employment. So Russell Group Universities, Oxford, Cambridge, always going to look on physics um, well as an A-level because it shows you're willing to take on a challenge and it generally means you've got good problem-solving skills uh, for the future. So here's the list of topics you uh, will be covering for year one AQA physics. So you've got particles, which is very different to GCSE, as long, along with quantum phenomena. You've also got waves and optics, mechanics, materials, and electricity. In year two, you'll cover circular motion and simple harmonic motion, along with thermal physics and fields, so magnetic fields, gravitational fields, electric fields, and also nuclear physics. All of those are quite advanced. There's quite a big step up between year one and year two. And in year two, if you do AQA, you'll also have an optional topic, uh, which is either space, engineering, turning points in physics, medical physics, or electronics. For AQA, the grey boundary to achieve an A-star is really low. It is about 69, 68% or so. That's not because it's easy, and that's because it's hard. The questions are really hard in A-level physics, especially for AQA, so the grey boundaries are lower than they would have been um, in other exam boards usually. So why not give A-level physics a go? Go to an open evening, find out more about it, ask other students about it. They'll tell you it's difficult, but it is worth it.